Hello everybody, welcome to the Casadome campaign. I know, I know it's been a while. Um, I do apologise, I've just been very busy, but here we go then. Um, I'm, I'm, something that often happens is when I come back, I'm not always really focused. But for this, we are going to have to be at the top of our game, I think. We've got Olokai, we've got six hit points and uh, a lot of stats here, there and everywhere. They've got Sauron's Will too, which are equal. Well, not equally formidable. And the other one's just got regular trolls. They have one less on the hit points. But I think the catapult could well take them down at the same time. And um, I think today... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to destroy the One Ring. But could this be the end of Mordor? Uh, let's let's go on in there and fight. The time's come last for battle. Here we are then. Here we are. We are set up. And um, you could call this corner camping, but I mean, is it in the corner? I mean, it kind of is in the corner, but it isn't really. We are still open at our sides, but there are the Olokai. There they are. And we're going to try and take them out, obviously. I am a little scared of them, though. Um, but if we are able to take them out... Then I think we'll be okay, but I just... How come we are and both... And then aren't in range? Come on, please start firing. Okay, one of you is. Good. Right, where's the other one? Don't care about the archers. Oh, come on, please start. Do it. Please start firing at the Olokai. Because if they start coming at us, then we'll be screwed. We'll just have these guys fire at will. And, uh, right, now they definitely can. Okay, cool. These guys, we're not too fussed at what they fire at. Um, maybe we just fire at their archers, because I think last time they did kind of almost take out our catapult crew. But we've got some uh, stakes over there. Our crossbows, of course, can fire at them. Right, how many... Went down. One went down. Oh, we need better the results than that. Oh, we got a few more there. Come on. We need to take them all out. Everything else here is fine to deal with. But... Oh, come on. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up. Yes. Yes. Right, I think... I think that's probably enough from you. I don't think we need any more. Yeah, we're not going to go for any more. Uh, let's just bring these hammer guards in. Right, you can stop. Um, we'll just bring in the hammer guards and I think they'll probably be okay to finish them off. Right, you just stop what you're doing for now. Probably could have used them to fire at them a little bit. But we need to conserve that ammunition because... Um, there are still more trolls to come. But it, it, it just looks fantastic. Well, this is also where you get to see the benefits of having pikes rather than halberds. Look at our reach advantage. It's, uh, we, we're already poking them. And, uh, yeah, those Olokai might take a little bit of time to go down. But let's just bring these guys around. Um, over here, we've got Sons of the Fallen. Two units. Oh, might get a little bit. Oh, wait. What are these? Oh, black turrets. Never mind. Oh, they do have Sauron's will. There. Um, I think we might send in. Where are they? Are they kind of over here? Um, let's send in. Can I just target them? Where are they? They're, they're kind of. I mean, they're wavering. Oh, they're over there. Okay, don't bother. Um, we will instead uh, fire at the barrier glances. I don't know who their captain is, but it often is a cavalry unit. Um, and I think that is him just there, actually. It's a bit weird seeing an orc on a horse. But uh, I think that is him. So uh, we'll fire at them. Um, I have full faith that the Sons of the Fallen here can actually take these out and um, 
how are we doing elsewhere well? Oh. That is a lot of them. Right, you just come over here and um, go right up to there. Like, we've got these guardians on hand if need be, but let's just move them back. Let's just use our archers because they're not useful for a whole lot of things here. But they will do well up against the orc maulers. So we give them a good clean line of sight. And... Who is here? Right. Um, we're not wasting our ammunition on any of this stuff. Uh, with the catapult. Let's just use our archers. Here we are. Fire into that. The orc maulers, by the way, are armor-piercing. But they've only got four armor. So, if we can... Oh, that guy just had to finish firing. <laughs> of course, sorry. Um, right, now we can actually fire. There we go. I think that will work out pretty well. Lovely. If we did have the catapult fire into that, that would annihilate them, though. But um, Right, that went reasonably well. Um, yeah, I mean, this is all going pretty well. I don't know where those Sauron's will went. They're over there. Okay. Um, how much armor do they have? Ten. Well, let's just... We've got some time. We can bring the crossbows over and fire at them. And... Um, Oh, they've got more Rock Maulers over there. Well, let's bring these guys kind of like to there, actually. Oh, we're going to have some overlap here. Right, well, Groy, if you'd like to move a little bit forward, then we can fit these guys there. And then... Oh, you know what? Just... just <laughs> oh, dear. Just come back over here. We, we, we'll we uh, let them do their thing. Or not. Okay. Right. Well, whilst the melee continues, I think we could probably just skip up until the next lot of trolls come up. Because this is kind of... This is kind of it. Oh, well, we are back a lot sooner than I thought. Um, we have got... No, stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Just fire. Just fire. Don't move forward. It says you're in range. Please fire. There's two units here. I thought there was only one. Blast. Um, but... I mean, that's... This is all fine. It's all fine. This isn't fine. Um, let's make it so. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Trail of death. There's only three of them left. Right, now, fire at them. <laughs> we just wiped them pretty much all out. Um, there's two left, but that is much more manageable for us. And, um, right, Black Rooks here coming in. Got Southron Lancers. I'm not even going to counter charge. But this here is important. Right, if we do miss... Um, we've got these guys. Oh, but we didn't miss. We didn't miss. They are... They are done so. They... God, look at that. <laughs> One volley from two of them. Just... We just... Wow. Okay. Um, well, I suppose... There's... There's not anything else here. So just fire at that the at the front. Didn't know we were actually firing at him still. Um, let's just fire at them. And uh, we should be able to because they do fire in quite a tight line. If we fire there at the front, we should take a substantial amount of them out. Oh, did I just miss it? I think I just missed it. But that is not the important thing. There's an Uruk bodyguard there. And, right, there are Southron Lancers there. Ooh, look at that. Getting some osmosis there. And if they just want to stand there, that's fine. And, yeah, let's just fire upon their orc archers. Orc archers. And how are we doing over here? They're pretty much all gone. 
Let's just send the guardians around. Actually, no, 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 no. We need them potentially to hold the line still in other battles. So let's not waste that utility. And uh, right, Sathron lances failed there, and there's just a lot of folks here. So. Um, right, just fire into that. We've still got a bit more of this shot left. And we've got some cavalry over there, so we can't go pressing out too far. So... Oh, there's the... Oh, the trolls! Right, you go and take them out. And uh, we've got Southron Lancers coming in. Right, and you are now finished with Grape Shot. You've got a few shots left. Um, but, where are they charging? Maybe see if we can get a volley off on these. This is a good thing about archers, at least, that they've uh, got much quicker reload times. And these Satheron Lancers have got no armor, so... Well, apparently they do. So, you now just fire at that. If they'd like to... No, they don't want to go into our pikes. Well... That's fine. We're going to go into them. So, we're now just going to start advancing, I think, a little bit. No? Okay. No, we won't. We'll stay here. Oh, look at that! They're going through the, the states! Sort of. A few of them definitely did. Um, we are now out of the good ammunition, if you like. And... Um, now all is left. Oh, they've got lancers over there as well. Right. Um, we pretty much defeated their infantry. We've even sent in our beast hunters. Uh, because this side here was looking a bit ragged. Uh, let's take you off defensive. And it is just all of these archers here. So as we've got no cavalry ourselves... We'll just have to make do. And we'll have to keep our shape until we've taken out all of their cavalry. But uh, it shan't take too long. Yeah, there are the Variag Lancers now. So they've got up against our shield guard. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, we just need to finish up really. And uh, keep firing at them. And it doesn't look like these guys are actually firing. I think they're doing that thing again where they're expending ammunition, but yeah. But they're not actually firing. We need to move them back. Take you off defensive. And uh, you know what? I think we're probably okay to just chase them off. So we'll keep these guys over here. And we'll do that thing that the AI likes to do and just... Uh, run after them so you there sons of the fallen you go after them and you're still fighting that's okay let's just go and run at them i don't think the catapults are going to do a whole lot anymore so uh yep yeah. cavalry are pretty much all down how our cowardly bow runs it is time to press the attack I think uh, we're almost there. You know what? We'll uh, try and pop a few heads over there. All the cavalry is now down. So now we're just going to run at them. Oh no, there's there's still a few. Oh no, down they go. <laughs> I just saw a few horses taking a bit of a tumble. They're all routing. Are they? Yeah, everything's dead over there. And so it is just all of this. So... Everybody, charge at them. Or you, charge at them. And uh, you, head on after them. And I think this battle has gone pretty well. And hopefully we should actually take the settlement the as well. Has no honor. He if we continue like this, the enemy army flees the field. There we go. Um, we'll start. get a few more kills here. I think that is an actual bodyguard over there. So, yeah, we're not maybe going to get the settlement. But, 
we'll we'll have a look. We'll exit the battle there. Heroic victory, but remember, we can't really Let get... All who remember this day, like, remember this is it. The We're not getting any more units, victory. and they do have more to come. So the Dwarven Catapults there, getting all of them trolls out of there. It's so useful to have them, like, just kind of, like, dilly-dally in front of you, and then you can just bam, 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 knock them down. Um, excellent across the board. <laughs> Oh, hang on. Are we about to get it, or are we going to get attacked again? I think that's a good sign. I mean, that's not a good sign, but I mean, it, it, it shouldn't really matter. But I think we are going to get Urk Estelad, which should make it significantly easier. Oh, go away. Go away. <laughs> we might have to go and uh, take them out. But uh, there might be a catapult in that fort. Sire, the enemy and if there is, that would be pretty so sweet. There we go. Honor. Mordor's turn Most took absolutely ages. Um, we're going to... I mean, we don't need the money. I'd rather just exterminate. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but yes, as I did say, a lot has happened in the past week. Um, kind of wondering where to start. Uh, but I did see that Izzy's come back. Um, I, I spotted him in uh, in one of his live streams as well. Um, I don't... <laughs> I wasn't on this channel. Uh, but I was uh, chatting in there for a bit. Um, I, did, I didn't want to take away from his live stream by like taking some of the attention. Right, let's uh, get rid of some of this. Um, but yeah, it's always nice to have someone back in the community, in the DAC community specifically. And um, obviously he's well loved too. So he's putting out good content. Oh, we've got catapults in there. I wonder, we could probably I'm beat that. Stick you. Maybe. I, Losing in the enemy. I mean, they, they're going to come at us, but I reckon we could uh, we could beat that. And over here as well, let's have a look. Um, oh, I say. That could be interesting. Ah, oh, but that's annoying as all I hell. Say. We can't get into Mordor now. My lord. Um, An honor. I, lord. So you can go to... Right, let's move you I, to there. Let's move you to there. And king. let's move you... All the way around Onward. to there. Right. Uh, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> but I kind of want to see those Black great beasts actually Black assault King. the Black Gate. I think that could be quite interesting. And um, what do we even have in here? And we've got stuff. Stuff will do. Um, but in regards to all of this, Aye, let's go. Do I need to take them out? I think we need to take these out. So, just BRB real quick. And they're gone. Thank you very much. And thank you very much also to... And I do apologize because I can't remember. Whoever it was that suggested that um, there might be some dust buildup in the charging port in my phone so like what i did was i got a little pin like sewing needle actually and uh, i kind of not a sewing needle it was just a pin yeah um <laughs> and i just like picked it out obviously obviously i turned the phone off first and then i did that and um yeah it's crazy now the charging cable actually goes all the way in and uh it does yeah, sorry, I just got like a text message. So, you know how like um, the the UK has left the EU, right? And because of that, then if you are an EU citizen, you are still allowed to stay. We're not getting uh, deported just yet. But um, there's there's like been... not. I wouldn't call it a complication. It's just I have to supply evidence, basically, that I have lived in this country... Uh, like that I have lived here uh, that I haven't just shown up and um, so you know I've got uh, several there's like a gap 
of a few years because of like my university my studies and things like that. Like I don't have like bills and things like that. Um, because like I was never the one to, to do the bills. I was just like, oh, it's to my housemate. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's here's your money. <laughs> like uh, so, yeah. Um, luckily, I have several of these. Sim uh, well, I have had experience of a similar thing when I was trying to get student finance. Um, they didn't like the fact that I had done national service in Finland. Um, so where are we going with Barlin? Um, oh, but yeah, but like it, it'll be fine. Like oh, what I've done is I've just uh, printed out um, from my online banking just like uh, bank statements and sent them off as a PDF. So they'll they'll see that and they'll be like, oh yeah, this guy's been going to McDonald's a lot. So uh, yeah, he's probably all right. So we can go either to Isengard with Balin and potentially halt the reemergence of Isengard themselves, or we come down here. But if Balin comes down here, it's probably already too late because we've already oh, got Dom late. here. And yes, I know that there is, you know, everything in this area will basically get blown up, including Dom. But... We need to make sure he doesn't die. So he's going to have these units on him. And anyway, once Mordor are destroyed, we no longer really need him. Uh, or any of these units. Um, so, what we're going to do with Balin. What we're going to do. Uh, what's Edoras saying? Right, we're going to go to Edoras. I think. Or well, let's just come down here. In your name, sire. And then we can I kind of want. do two birds. Forward. Because... March our limit. Oh, we were going to go and get the wald, weren't we? It doesn't really matter. Surely the elves can handle that. Aye, sire. Aye. Probably. Fingers Forward. crossed. Um. But, uh, yes. Um, yeah, a lot of things going on right now. And... But I'm really happy with how the law video turned out. Uh, for those of you that uh, it's kind of it's kind of has a similar theme, if you like, as as this here, this campaign, because it was kind of about Balin. But this is the remains of this great army that we had for Oin. I don't think I've seen this until now. That is staggering. That is completely wiped out. But um, where is that diplomat? I think we had a diplomat here somewhere. Uh, Elven Acres. Right, yeah. So they've got no money, though. Um, we are allied to the Anduin, though. The Anduin Vale. And are they at war with the Easterlings? They are. And what about the Woodland Realm are at war with the Dwarves and Dale? But if we give them Grasgard, then the Andwin won't. Yeah, they'll be too split off. I don't want to give them that. So I'm going to give it to the Woodland Realm. Aye, my lord. So Always there we are. With you, trusted give friends. region. And we are like the real. We are such world builders, aren't we? Grasgard. And they have meager wealth. But we don't really need the money. Do you have any interest? No, they don't have any interesting regions. Uh, just give me that. And you know what? If you want to give me some money, make yourselves feel worth something. There you go. Like, now you're How getting a fair deal. We're not just offer. giving you charity An and making and you pleasure. feel bad Farewell. about it. But uh, there we are. My king. Um... No, they're not going to attack it. They very rarely do. And I don't think... I don't know if this counts as a border. Maybe it does, I because that it. is sea rather than a lake uh, or river. I or wouldn't that... That would actually make it the other way, wouldn't it? Yeah. Right, well, Oin, you're going to go back over there. And you're going to get retrained. And um, if need be, we will send you down here too. Uh, right, well, I can't foresee much else going on in this turn. So let's see if we get some kind of notification about what is happening here now.
Oh, don't think I've seen that um, in, a, in a while. The loot card of Rune is dead. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, let's not do that. Uh, Belflas is besieged, but hang on. Oh, look at that. I forgot that we had uh, a diplomat wow. down here, but we can see that uh, Prince Mablung and his noble footman and company have managed to actually take a settlement. They've got Methras back. What's the culture like? Oh, that's not good. 3%. 3%. That is all. Um, and um, Mordor have done some switcheroos over here. But nothing has happened here. Uh, we're just going to wait here then. And uh, maybe if we move a bit closer. Is it like there? I don't know. Um, someone in the comments did say that it doesn't actually... I think I've already mentioned this in this video as well. You don't actually need to be right in the vicinity of Mount Doom. You just kind of need to be in the region. But um, this, all this besieging actually works in our favour. I had to think about it. Like, should we sally out and kill them? Or should we just leave them? Because what would happen is, if we were to uh, sally out and attack them, then... Uh, they would potentially start uh, recruiting again. Right now, they might be at their max limit, as the AI kind of is. Like, I think they do have some finances to take care of, but, you know, they do get some amount of gold, even if they are bankrupt. But there's probably something in there that stops them from recruiting if they've reached, like, a, a ceiling. So, we are kind of crowd controlling them right here if they attack us if they actually I'm come and attack us you. i think we'll beat them we've got catapults in each of these locations we'll wipe them out and this is the goal so i'm happy for all of those dwarves to sacrifice themselves uh for I'm the greater really good so erebor we're gonna pop these dudes in and uh, just make way young sirs and in you all go. Ah, oh, you're not actually getting retrained. So, uh, just retrain them. Uh, but we do have some more units that we are just going to continuously Aye, shuffle down south. Aye. So, off you go. Aye. And That'll do them today, uh, we've got a few more My here. King. But I think we'll just leave them for later on. Because, My king. Barlin, let's have a Watching look. That. Wait, are you besieging? No. Right. Well, uh... There we are. I'm not going to auto-resolve, and I'm not going to attack them either, because, uh... Um... They should be okay, but... Um, let's have a look at this. Look at all that experience. 11 and 17. That actually makes them half decent. Uh, AP. Rohan have got... Really bad uh, infantry, but that is like the only unit really that I would ever consider getting. Um, they do have some like spearmen as well, but they're not really cost effective. Like, they've got other ways of going up against cavalry, and that's with their cavalry, so I'd rather get them personally. Right, um, I think we can end the turn again. We can end the turn another time see if we get any kind of pop-up okay we're gonna round this episode out then with a battle at Graw's gate not the black gate and we're gonna go up against the great beasts i don't think we've come up across them in this campaign oh they've got temple marksmen as well this is gonna be a big test we've got not the greatest garrison it's all gonna come down to the catapult so in we go well, these are tense moments, and there you see the great beasts. We've got the archers up on the walls. Um, they are hopefully going to... I think these towers do actually fire. Yep, they do. Yes, they do. And uh, we've got... So there's two actual gates. So there's a gate there, and then there's a gate over there. And we're just going to see if they actually come to... They aren't using both of them so i think we could probably just leave this one 
out. So if you can make your way over here, I don't know. That's really going to prove useful. But I think they're all going to come through here. So um, obviously we've got the three siege engines. The three catapults. Let's get them really close together. Um, if we could get them all to fire down there with grape shot, everything's just going to die. But if we even get one of them, everything is going to die. So um, we've got the baluster over here. Got three engines, which should also prove to be fairly useful. And I think then what we're going to do is we're going to send more troops over here. Make sure that they're fighting over here, but also that they don't break through and around. Because then we can't fire at them. And we want to fire at them. So, let's make sure that we can fire at them. Let's uh, put these over here. If we can. And uh, you just go there. And all of these, I think we'll just bring them behind here. Don't think they'll be needed. Oh, and Sons of the Fallen, if you'd like to go across there. Let's double check. Yeah, nothing's going to that one over there. And what would you like to fire at? You know what? Just fire at that over there. Um, should get some okay arcs. Some of them will do that weird arching thing, but uh, right, there are the great beasts. We, if we had some javelins, then that would be a good target. Dwarves don't have any javelins. I don't think any dwarven faction actually does. Um, not that they really need it, but it's just making an observation. So we've got all of that. Right, let's bring you over here as well. Uh, we've got Cal in there. He's ready and raring to go. Let's just make sure that these all have... That actually... We could probably do this. No? No, we can't. Okay. That's a bit ambitious. We've got this one over here as well. Um, if we do kind of need it, but don't think we will. Uh, let's just speed this up then. Are they actually going to try and get through the gate? Or what is happening here? Well, as much as I do love an easy win... Um, this is very boring, and I'd rather be doing anything else with my time than just watching um, this drain. So, we're trying to get them to move by sending out our general through the front door. And seeing if they will actually start to break down the gates, and it doesn't look like that has worked. Well, I did basically end up sitting here and watching the towers just snipe them one by one. That was such a disappointing thing. The most exciting thing, though, was uh, you can see here we killed actually two of the great beasts with the tower. And then they went and ran amok. I went straight through their own units, uh, probably killing a few of them. Um, and we did take out a third of them. Um, Actually, the Beast Hunters got 241 kills. And I was a bit wondering, like, why did they take so many losses? Well, they did have those Temple Marksmen that were firing up at them. And I thought, oh, Black Rock Archers, is that it? But uh, no. Um, so, yeah. Okay, well, we are not fighting this as well. I can't sit here for another <laughs> half an hour or whatever watching paint dry if it if it bugs out again. It probably won't. But it's going to be a catapult massacre, hopefully. And um, I think, hopefully next time, we'll see the destruction of those. And I will skip the next battle at Graw's Gate because there's going to be another one. And... We're going to hopefully see some kind of progression over here. If you guys at home know um, 
quite how this works because I can't remember really. Just uh, drop a line in the comments and uh, ease my mind. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed. Have a good week and I'm giving Gandalf a good day.